so much for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot, and I hope you're ready for a great message. I pulled all the cards for us so I could just jump right into it. And for the overall energy, we have Bat in the Billfury. You can achieve great things. Number seven, I'll let you have a nice good look at that beautiful picture. What this talks about is literally um, you being very different because this does go to the energy of being Batty, not um, being part of the mainstream, flying against those type of views, finding your way um, on your own, no magical lift to bring you up to the top. This says that you've gone through big challenges um, in your life. Others may have, indeed, it says said you are batty, and this may have maddened you at times. Um, so this has been preparing you for the heavy, hurtful climb. But um, it's okay. It was okay. Let's just see. Just because no one can quite see how you've made it to the top doesn't mean that you did not have to climb, which you absolutely did. And what I'm getting is like you had to believe in your connection, even though others didn't believe in it. Okay. Um, take a moment and enjoy the magnificent view and the wisdom this height can offer you. See the future directions. See where you made uh, see where you made what others call mistakes and see how those below stay stuck, okay? So someone is unsticking themselves, bottom line. Let's get into the reading and it talks about using your intuition. I had pulled some other cards and it talked about intuition, but I was like, what is going on here? I was a little confused. It says, do or die. You must do a little at a time. Use your intuition, Okay, um, and it says now is the time to use int your intuition um, to also resurrect your true feelings and create it like it's a full time job uh, to prepare and have faith is what this talks about. Let's get right into this reading now. <laughs> Uh, first card, second card, third card. I did. Oh, my God. I did not see these cards, guys. Um, I saw this one because it came out in three. So I had just left it like, you know, and spread it out. I remember the nine of cups. I was like, oh, great. Um, oh, my gosh, guys. So the first card is representing you and this the main energy. And it is the nine of cups. This is a wish coming true. Uh, guys, I swear to you, I did not make this up. We have the king and queen of cups here. I don't even know how that happened. I haven't used this deck for so long and I'm feeling so great today. Anyhow, I was going to use this to do next week's readings, these group of decks, and I was guided to pull for Patreon. And for you, we have the King and Queen of Cups and we have a wish. Um, if you wish this, then this is happening for you. Um, if you've been waiting for someone to offer you their love and to offer you a cup, we have strong um, Cancerian, Piscean, Scorpion energy here. This is a connection of a lifetime is what I just got. You may be dealing with someone who dresses very uh, unique. Okay, there's something very unique in this person. They may have long hair, they may have a beard. That's what this person literally looks like. Um, if you're the female, you may have colored in your colors in your hair. Uh, you don't have to be you're very deep, you're very grounded, you're very emotional as well. At the same time, um, you know exactly what you want. You've been wishing on this for many, 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 many moons is what I'm getting here. This is a wish come true. Okay, I'm hearing you held yourself in high regard. I don't know why that message is coming, but that's what I just heard. You held yourself in high regard. Let's see what's going on. Let's just look a little more into this for a second, okay? You're waiting for this person, and this person wants to come to you. This person knows you're waiting. This King of Cups knows you're waiting, and they are so ready to come towards you. We are going to have to clarify more about this. I will tell you, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, and we also have, at the top, the Five of Pentacles, which, talk, which talks about adaption. But what I got when I saw those two cards um, is that your person has somehow adapted to a conflicting situation look what's underneath that the hangman and kept themselves hung in this conflicting situation seven of swords not speaking the truth and um being remaining in the state of uncertainty when it comes to making a choice look what we have here love right when it comes to going towards what this person truly wants um there's something here they've adapted to it's really bizarre because I see this person ready to come forward and you are just waiting for them, not knowing um, 
but for some reason they're not moving just yet. This could be saying they'll they'll be able to move in Pisces season, which is coming up, right? January, February time. I think February, February, February time. Okay, so now let's look further into this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these three cards will be representing your person. Let's flip them over because I have not. So, oh wow, guys. Okay, so it would be this and this. This message is so deep. Let's put the signs out here right now for anyone that needs them. This this message is bullseye. Okay, I'm seeing this here. Like this is a message for someone. This is a big message. And anyone who didn't watch this far, it's their own fault. The message wasn't for them because this is a huge message. Your person's main energy is the devil. Um, it's the main energy surrounding their situation. Okay. This is a layout I've created. And yes, yeah. so this is this person can't get away from someone right now, right now, because there's no way this is going to last. We're going to clarify all of this. This reading may be longer than expected. This person cannot get away. Look at it. When this person says I'm leaving, look at it. You see right by my finger, this female energy. Um, I'm sorry. I'm hearing like, a, you know, psychotic a little bit there. Um, it's, it's psychotic what's going on here regardless, because what I'm getting is this female is attached to this toxic energy just as much as this masculine, but the masculine, holy, this gets deep, guys. If you guys could see, it, would, this is when I really wish I had a better camera. The devil's actually taking the chain off of the masculine. The female has it right around her waist. This masculine energy is on the way out. And look at how the arrow's pointing to the future. It's like the man's pointing. He's like, I'm out. I'm going. And this woman's screaming to get to him. And he has a lot of money there. Um, I'm sorry. This is so, I, I am amazed with this. You know what I just got? I'm sorry to say this, uh, but for the karmic, the devil is not done with the karmic. The devil energy. Um, the devil is not done. This karmic has not learned some lessons. There, that's why this this energy will be attached to this toxic energy. Um, unfortunately, I think that that would keep, you know, some sort of a chain still. Like this person has to get freed from this as well. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. The next card is a queen of swords. So you could be um, your person. Someone here could be, you know, a Capricorn. We have Capricornian energy here. I'm also hearing Taurus. Um, your person's karmic or, or this very, you know, in their mind, energy, female energy. Look at the hair. looks the exact same. Okay. Could be um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. An air sign or someone with heavy air placement or heavy, heavy air behavior. Okay. And... What I'm getting here with the five of cups at the end, there is some sort of regrets that this person has to move away from. Um, regret is part of the lesson. That's it's something to do with that. It may be the time that this, this female energy wastes on connection because it's over now. There's a new connection. We already know with you and this person. It may be, uh, that may be the lesson. How many of us regret not listening to our hearts throughout our lifetime, right? How many of us have met someone and heard in the back of our head that voice that said, they're not the one, hun, you know, but we're like, no, 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 it's okay. I've done it. I'll tell you I've done it. That's, yeah, I've done it. Um, and that was a lesson. And it's going to be probably this person's lesson. You know, I'm getting a lot of reasons why this person may not have learned this lesson. Maybe this has been a long time relationship. Um, maybe this was the first you know, real relate, like, um, like maybe they were together from a young age, right? So maybe this person hasn't experienced a lot of lessons. This is the main lesson here that she's about to experience. And it has to do with letting go of toxic energy and not hanging on to a person because you will regret it. But that's a lesson. That's how you learn, right? Um, I already know your wish is coming true. Do we pull one more card? Sure. Let's see. Oh my gosh. 10 of wands in reverse. Um, what I'm getting is the, uns the uncertainty is over. Um, what else I'm getting is 
I know we can't. I, I need to clarify that because I'm getting that your person walked away right now. They're not here. But guess what? They are preparing for a new beginning with you. Okay, because I'm seeing the Eight of Cups here, by the way, um, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, and we have the Nine of Wands. And guess what? The Nine of Wands, the word on the Nine of Wands is preparation. Okay, and this is what that card's about. It truly is about preparing for the big moment. I see that big candle there. Okay, so let's clarify more about this devil energy, please. I do know a new beginning is coming for you and this person. Look at the devil energy, three of swords in reverse. There is a lesson here still that this female, because it looks like a female there. And if it's not, I mean, the female has to learn to let go of the heartache in regards to this situation. And what I'm getting is, yeah, this will take a little more time, maybe three months. Isn't that about Piscean time in three months? Because... Um, there, if something has to be released here in order to have a full new beginning. I'm seeing the fool, the empress, the king of pentacles here, um, and the prince of pentacles here. It looks like the prince of pentacles. Anyhow, there has to be a full release of all the pain. That's why the three of swords came in reverse. Um, this person has to move on fully in order for you and your person to have a perfect new beginning. Okay. I don't know why I said perfect, but yes. And I'm not joking. I was clarifying the queen of swords. There has to be that well-being, healthy energy for all involved. I'm telling you, this is part of um, manifesting. You want your person. You want this situation. You want the love of your life. Make sure everyone benefits. I know it sounds so bizarre, but that's how you manifest, okay? Loss. Loss is, it's absolutely, um, no way to look at this, but let's see. Oh, gain. I'm not joking. You have loss and gain. You cannot, yeah, it takes a loss to get the gain. It really does. And there's that three of swords energy, but now it's in the coins. Um, this pain will all manifest into something uh, tangible, right? For this person, um, this person that we're talking about the karmic energy here, there may be a child involved. Okay. Um, or it could be that this woman or this person was just like kind of greedy and just kept on taking and taking. Cause I'm seeing the raindrops fall into the water or into the cups here. Um, and it's just getting murky because she's not doing anything with it. Remember, it's really important when you are gifted with abundance and gifted with, uh, you know, things that you've asked for, it's important to use them. It's important to get out there and have fun with them, uh, to make the best of them. Let's see. And I do feel that this person, you know, I feel like this person had no aspiration, which is um, something that sent the other away. Okay, literally. Something that's, you know, really opened the other person's eyes. So we have the King of Pentacles and we have, um, there was no helping. I think that this person tried and tried again, like the Wheel of Fortune energy here. And no helping at all. Okay. So where's that? Part? When, where? Yeah. So that karmic situation, it's going to, um, you know, have to face an ending. Okay. Um in order to have a new beginning, you see two people here. It's like almost like they're offering this energy here. This is a new beginning coming in. Um, but look at this. There's a delay. It could have to do with money, okay? We have the wealth energy here. So let's see what else we got for this crazy message. Happy ever after and sexuality. Um, isn't that interesting? Because it's kind of like once it's over... Everyone lives happily ever after because that's how I just saw 1404. Okay, guys, you look up the number. Um, you're going to have a, a very, you know about this connection. This person is coming towards you, whether it be a man or a woman, and you've been holding space for them, waiting for them. Um, you're very, <laughs> like, like you've been missing them, okay? And this person is coming to you. They're ready to speak to you. Everything around them tells them, get to this person now. They're very drawn to you. Let's see what else we have here. Satellite. 
socialize or join in, make healthy and supportive new friends and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. Um, I do feel when you come together, you're going to combine your group, like your groups. You are, you're going to, and it's going to be a new energy because you're going to be a new energy in the picture. Okay. Um, divine life purpose, because it's your divine life purpose to be with this person. And there is going to be some sort of a connection to other people. Once you come together with your person, it makes sense for twin flames because you're here to change the world. Literally we need us. And so this is leading you to your fulfillment. This is leading you this connection and wish is leading you to your fulfillment, to a higher purpose. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful message? Okay. So I'll tell you um, these cards I pulled out. I mean, to me, they were quite confusing, but talks about using intuition. It talks about, um, serving, you know, someone could have been fully serving everyone else, but their selves. Um, and that was connected to the past. We have cancer here. We have Pluto here. We have the North nod here, node here, um, have faith in, have faith in yourself immediately as you used to, apparently you used to, someone used to, to know their self, um, know thyself and it, they inspired others that way. Okay, guys. Um, and be prepared for a sacrifice, your home base or your family. Isn't that weird that that's there? Prepared to sacrifice for your home base or family. Um, someone may have to leave anyways for the better of their situation that they are in. And it says, do not worry about the way you project yourself to others. Now is the time to do it on your own. Do what makes you feel secure as you did in the past. There's a lot of wording there. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to pull a couple more cards. I just want to know more about, you know, what's going on. Okay, thank you. You gave us a group. So someone is working on moving away from this heartache, this heartbreak, this three third party, um, this negative situation and starting a fresh on their own, this person may need some time to be alone after they cut um, free of the past. They're burning a few things away as we speak, literally, oh, to get to their nine of cups energy as well. And here you are, the nine of wands, which came out, um, hanging on, you know, waiting for your person to come home. Okay, so bye for now, everyone.